The Seda Seed Foundation, a disability inclusive non-profit, has now released a report on accessible infrastructure facilities in Abuja, Nigeria, based on Nigerian Disability Act 2018. The report reveals that international companies like Transcorp Ilton and Seda Crest Hospital have met accessibility standards, while the Federal Secretariat Building and the Big Tama General Hospital in Abuja have not. Despite this legislative try, the real challenges lie in executing this mandate and ensuring their impact in daily lives of persons with disability. They all of fame and shame, even not event not only spotlight leaders in accessibility but also call on organizations lagging in compliance to recognize their roles in building more inclusive Nigeria. Many buildings in Abuja including critical government and healthcare facilities do not meet accessibility standards highlighting the disconnect between policy and practice. Honoris of Hall of Fame and Hall of Shame. We have listed 10 of them. We have Transcorp Hilton. We have Cedar Crest Hospital. Number one on the list when it comes to workplaces is Federal Secretariat, Abuja. Number two, Eagle Square Restaurant. The restaurant is inaccessible to persons with disabilities. Number three, Maitama General Hospital is also inaccessible. The report authored by Seda Seed Foundation Executive Director, Lois Alter, emphasizes the need for a more inclusive society, urging both government and private organizations to take action. Now, as I light the meticulous effort made to release the findings and calls for inclusive policies. CDC Foundation calls upon government agency, private organization, and Abuja resident to take action towards building a more inclusive society. The following steps are critical for meaningful progress. One. We enforce accessibility standards. We urge regulatory bodies to enforce the Nigerian Disability Act 2018 and the United Nations Convention on the Right of Persons with Disability, ensuring that all public facilities adhere to mandatory accessibility requirements. Let's talk of women with disabilities. We have close to 600 participants in the group. So we're able to get responses from them, mentioning all these needs from accessible places to inaccessible places. That's how we were able to get to where we are. We want our rights. We want to be independent. We want to have our confidential things done during transacting a business in the banking hall. And that's why we are calling on all policymakers, media representatives, media executives, and other stakeholders to stand with us on this. We want access. What we want is access. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.